all of you are making films that are sort of comedies. Like, is it comedy first, or the, the drama? Like, how, how do you kind of find that blend? It's a, it's a drama first. We're just trying to make a good movie that where the plot works. Jay and I kind of have a rule where we just, we write stuff to be as funny and light as possible, because when we improvise, our instincts always take us into the dramatic place towards the end of the film. It's just what we do. I know, Katie, your, your film, it's a couple decides that they're going to give each other a freebie, a free night out to uh, find another partner if they so choose. I just sort of conceived it being just a real natural movie. So, yeah, I think that is mostly drama with a dash of humor. Your film, while being funny, has this deeply unsettling sort of underlayer of just creepiness that sort of as the movie goes <laughs> along it gets maybe less and less funny and more and more creepy and I, and I mean that in the best way <laughs> okay you know so like comedy is is a is a wonderful delivery device for drama like that's kind of my idea like the ideas that I have the stories that I want to tell are usually kind of tending towards darker places towards uncomfortable places and now, and now, Jeff, you, your film, it is a science fiction film. Yeah. It's also somewhat of a comedy. It has yeah. sort of an undercurrent of melancholy, and it's animated. Yeah. And so you, in some ways, were pulling off maybe the most difficult balancing act. You've made this kind of impressive-looking science fiction film, but you shot it on green screen, so you really didn't yeah. need to have set, so you were able to make a, a relatively low-budget science fiction film. It's partially rotoscoped. It's partially processed. It's partially hand-drawn. It's partially 3D. Um, and, I mean, it's an experiment. I wanted to try a lot of this stuff and see how it worked together. I know the, the connective tissue here b uh, between all of you is, is Mark, that uh, you're the, an executive producer on Katie's film, an executive producer on Brian's film. You star in Jeff's film, and then obviously directed Cyrus with your brother. And uh, I guess, where, where do you find the time? You look at these credits on movies, and you see executive producer or producer, and it seems like, oh, my God, you were really involved with that movie. You know, the truth is, like, as much as I executive produced you know, Katie's movie with her, that was like, that movie came out of our bank account because we're married. So I'm an executive <laughs> producer. Yay! Um, so there's that. And then, you know, like with Brian's movie, you know, Brian, we went to film school with Brian and Jay and Brian, I learned how to basically boom op and, and work cameras from visiting Jay and Brian when they were in film school together. Now, now that Jay and I are we're just starting to direct another movie in New Orleans, and then Katie and I are both on the show The League. I think that is kind of enough. Like, at what point do you feel that you're prepared to shoot, that you're prepared to go to the set with the actors and let them do whatever it is they're gonna do? As much as uh, it's painful to uh, live in a, in a production world like this, like, we feel like all of our movies have been good because we created an environment on set where lightning could strike and then we could capture that lightning. In making Cyrus, you know, th this time out, you've got Marissa Tomei, John C. Riley, Jonah Hill, and it's not meant as a way to put down the people in your previous films, but these are, you know, real actors that you're working with. Mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> that was definitely right a put down. Here, Success. Right next to you. I do declare. <laughs> Sometimes you can look at our movies and it's like, oh, these guys are just out there burning doobers and shooting up a bunch of footage, you know, and it looks like a lot of fun and we have to be clear with people to be like, this is, it's very hard work and it can be emotionally challenging. Katie, when you were making the freebie, what, like how, what sort of a script did you sort of go on set with? Each scene had its own paragraph and some paragraphs were more, mm -hmm. more detailed than others. That being said, each scene was pretty structured and we, we both knew, Dax and I, um, what needed to be done and everyone sort of uh, was on board with it. For me, for, for, for this film, um, for all of the films that I've done, they've all been scripted. Most of the, what we were doing was not actually working on, this, on the script. It wasn't like, we're gonna figure out in the next three hours exactly how you're gonna say each one of these lines when we're gonna shoot it like a month from now. It was more like, we're mostly strangers, the, the four of us, so let's, do like stupid theater games and like play like relaxation exercises and like you know just goof around so that we become a family the family that we're going to have to be when we're on the set and we're trying to shoot this movie really really fast because we shot everyone in front of a green screen we had some freedom to uh, at least allow improvising leading up but there's certainly i mean for example one of the actors james kochalka is here and he's in a scene with mark and they met 
20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't get too far from the script because I actually had to shoot people on separate plates for animating them. Do you guys feel comfortable that you're gonna, you're gonna do this in this way as long as you can? I feel comfortable that if we did it another way, it would be a bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just didn't think that like middle-class white people problems was like enough to like generate a film, but apparently it is. Uh, <laughs> Who watches movies, though? A lot, a lot of people out there. Middle-class yeah. white people. Yeah. And middle-class white people got lots of problems, too. Yeah, yeah we got our own problems. Yeah. Yeah. Cell phones, yeah. answering machine problems. Please join me in <laughs> thanking our panel. <laughs>